Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rock's Roost. Let's play Final Fantasy II, the Pixel Remaster. When last we left off, we were in the Dreadnought, causing all kinds of trouble for the Imperials. Um, we need to make sure that we get all the monsters and the uh, treasures in here because we want to get the achievements and, and those things are required for the bestiary and the treasure achievement. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, in between episodes I did just a little bit of scouting around and acquired a whole lot of money because the encounter rate in here is insane. Uh, don't worry, we'll put that to use later. But more importantly, we acquired the Berserk spell. And we already trained it up to level 2. This raises the attack. Um, it does not cause the character to be sort of unresponsive. You can still input commands. So don't worry about that. Um, that is a drop from the Magician uh, enemies. They also dropped a bunch of magical tomes of different types, which you can see here. Uh, we have another couple of Berserk tomes of a Scourge tome, which we may teach Maria, we may not. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and sort this. But that's basically all I did, just a little bit of scouting. And what we're going to do is, uh, speak of the devil, we're actually going to go back outside. Now, we can't warp out or teleport out. We're going to go back outside for a couple of reasons. One, we can rest in a cottage, and that'll get us our MP back. And two, uh, the chest at the very beginning, I there there's a secret passage there that I overlooked. I went back and looked at the recording, and sure enough, I missed it. So, let's go back and get it. Can your Asuna fix that? No, 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 it can't. What about Asuna level 2? Yes, apparently that works. So Asuna level 1 can't get rid of Envenomate. Okay. Let's just fly back through here. No, I'm not fighting him. We have him on the bestiary. It's good enough. We won't fight them either. Everything's a <clears throat> okay at this point. I, I think level wise we're doing okay. Let's just look at the character sheets while we're here. Strength 52, Spirit 12, and I'm like 10. Stamina 20, Agility 39. Very good. 11 Magic 59 Attack. Uh, strength 30, and I'm like 28. Very good. Agility 30. Magic 24. Very good. Agility 32. Yeah. We're doing pretty good here. Alright. Let's just keep on working our way back out of here. Again, there's no point in, in you know encountering these. Engaging these, rather. I'm not looking for red drops, and we already have them in the bestiary, so... May as well just scarper when we can, see? That high agility is making it easier to run. This is the rare case where we actually got caught up a little. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I'll fight this. Okay. Yeah, on the off chance we might get an MP rise, I decided to do that one, but it wasn't in the cards. Let's do this one. We're close to the exit now. All right. Fewer of them, so we won't use magic this time. Maria is champ. Okay. No, 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 no. Whack a doodle. Another agility rise. Gotta love it.
one of the things we can do when we go back out is check the map to be sure we got all the chests in here. You know, you got you really do have to wonder about somebody that keep all these undead around, don't you? I mean, it does say that the emperor has brought the forces of hell to bear. Now, there is a the path the passage is in here. Uh, right here. Monsters. All right, the sergeant. That is a somewhat uncommon encounter in here, so make sure that you get him. But he's nothing special. He's just an upgraded version of the soldier. The magician's spells can be troublesome, but... I mean, his magic stat's not super high. <clears throat> Excuse me. But he can... Throw some status ailments on you like that. And we are going to fight a captain getting out of here, don't forget. So you need some MP because of his perfect defense. Had to get one more in, didn't you? There's going to be a sleep blade in this chest, if I recall correctly. Okay, lots of magical tones. That's good. <clears throat> Excuse me, an ethereal bow we probably won't use. Three potions, very useful. Sleep blade, yeah. Okay. So, the sleep blade, it gives us a significant increase to attack. However, accuracy is crap. A blade that puts foes to sleep. We'll use it a time or two just to see what it's uh, like. Now the question is we raised our Asuna level there. Um, do I have enough MP for Maria to fight a captain? Probably not. Oh, where am I going? Yeah, there's... Now, um, okay. There's treasures in here. Hmm. I forget how to get them. Is there another, uh, secret? Just bear with me a second here. Okay, I'm back. We're going to go back out here and fight the dude. This is very annoying. But it is what it is. Sleep blade got right through his defense. Did you see that? Nice. Okay, so those things are not really that much trouble anymore. Good to know. Alright, fantastic. I was hoping for an MP up for Maria. You got out of the way. Okay. Alright. So. Yeah, let's go on outside. You know, actually, I really want to try and get an MP up for her. We might be close. We will run her MP out.
play it this way. Well, we got an agility. Yep, that's not bad. Yes. More agility. I won't say no to that. Okay. So we're back outside. Let's uh, use a cottage. And then eat. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a real people uh, save. A big people save, even. Uh, the question is, yes, that's fine. We can overwrite this. Okay. I think we'll overwrite that as well. Okay. So. Here's the thing. Let's check the map. We should be missing three. We're missing four. Okay. I think there are four on, that, on the second floor that we still need to get to. Okay. So that's fine. Um, what should we do now? I'm thinking aloud. I think the plan here good to be. I really wish I had more ethers. It's a long walk back to civilization, but uh, I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk back to Getrea. <clears throat> All the way back to Gretera. I'm going to pick up another cottage and uh, some more ethers, because now we have like a zillion gill. Okay, we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Uh, money is eventually going to become a thing that we worry about, but again, but uh, I would feel more comfortable if we had more ether. So I'll do that and I'll meet you back here. Okay, folks, we're back. I made it down to Gatreya and picked up the items that I wanted. I now have 10 ethers and uh, picked up a couple of cottages. Also, I, I messed around with our equipment load. I've gone ahead and changed Fury into a dual wielder with the Sleep Blade in one hand and the Ancient Sword in the other. Now, uh, a lot of this falls into the category of, you know, I'm not an idiot. I just play one on TV. Uh, I should have been using this all along. The Curse has attack and defense. So on monsters like Big Turtles, Adamantois, and the Captains... This will help us break their defense down. So it has defense uh, on successful application of the curse. Which I believe is pretty accurate. Pretty uh, likely to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, um, Maria's agility is now 34. So I'm thinking that we may just... Let's see. Let's replace the Mangosh with a Mithril Knife. And give the Mangosh to Guy. Do we really need to do that? Yeah. So he can bump his evasion up just a little bit. Uh, actually, because I am the way I am. Uh, I'm, what I've told you before about the favored hand being the one that determines the attack power, I am not completely sure that's a thing. Um, let's see. Mangosh, evasion 99... Attack 61. Attack 61. So it probably doesn't matter. Uh, thematically, the mango should be in the offhand. Because that means left hand. Um, so, let's just do that. Uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, this... Is the Mithril Spear better? No, it is not. Okay. So I think we're good now. I'm going to save. And yet more idiocy. Now, when we went in here, I could have sworn that we went up the staircase that I'll show you here. 
to get those treasures. I, I could have sworn that we went that way. I'll tell you, you know, from years of watching Let's Plays and you hear people say things like, you just don't see things when you're recording. Things that otherwise are obvious, like to you, the viewer. Uh, that's a real thing, I'll tell you. Because, I don't know, it's, it's not tunnel vision, it's something else. I guess you get distracted by talking. I'm not sure. It engages the brain in a different way. And it's probably what it is, and, and because the brain is probably really having to rewire in a pretty real way to actually make a Let's Play video that, uh, you know, compared to when how you normally use your brain when you're playing video games, that it causes you to be blind to things that otherwise might be obvious. That's my feeling. Because even when I watch my own recordings back, I see things that I miss that seem incredibly obvious. And I'm hopelessly oblivious. Thanks for blowing up my face. Really appreciate it. Oh, yes. And on the way back up here, uh, Guy, we'll use the eye drops for that. He uh, surpassed the four digit HP level. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we go up here. Getting a lot of ambushes. I'm not sure why. Could be because the Furion. Um, no, no, maybe not. Uh, anyhow, items. We're going to use an antidote for that. We're going to be a little bit cons conservative with the MP here. So yeah, go up this door and go down and around and get attacked. Whack-a-doodle, baby. It's the only way to go. So I think by now you probably see that this game is going to be significantly longer than the first game. Because we are... Is this part 16, I think? Part 16, maybe? Uh, there were 20 parts in the last one. First game, rather. Yeah, so this brings us out to where the treasures are. I'm, I'm not sure what my problem was, but I had one for show. And as far as, like, where we are in this game, I guess this is the end of the first of three acts, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, ending the Dreadnought. Hey, hey, agility. Love to see it. Let's go down this way. And again, these treasures are somewhat underwhelming, but... Uh, you know, we want the achievement, right? Got to have that trophy. You know, this, uh, right now, Dark Bow. I'm not going to equip it. I just want to see what the, uh, the plunge targets into darkness. I guess that can blind them. Yeah, so as I'm recording this... Oop, mouse pointer. Just saw that. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just starting out, and... I'm doing a handful of different games. Final Fantasy is just one. And um, it's easily the least popular. Uh, Dave the Diver is another game that I'm doing. That's probably my most popular series right now. So it's going to be funny to look back at this one day when I'm... Uh, you know, Lord willing, successful on YouTube, look back at this and say, wow, what a stupid idiot I was. You know? uh, <laughs> that's gonna be, I, I maintain what I've been saying the whole time. I'm not an idiot. I just play one on TV. You will hear me say that many times. That's my story. 
and I'm sticking to it. All right, Thief's Gloves. Uh, these are going to raise your defense quite a bit, and they enhance agility. So, um, you know, do they actually? That's what it says, but agility uh, 33. Let's equip them. Agility 43. Oh, wow, 10. Gives you 10 agility. So, the question is, who do we want those on? Probably Maria, actually. You know, we should give him some gloves because his evasion is not being affected at this point. Uh, let's give him the mithril gloves. What about a hat? Give him the helm. Okay, because he's not casting offensive magic, so shouldn't worry about equipment load on him. Uh, our girl Maria here. Will this affect... What is the magic penalty of these gloves? I do not know. But we will figure it out. So... Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Head. Don't really need anything there. Okay. Good, 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 good. So, that wasn't a useless treasure. My memory failed me. I was thinking these were potions. It's not the first time for that now, is it? I'd really like to get this dreadnought out of the way this episode. So, even if we go over the 30 minutes... Oh, look! It's Hilda and Sid. You opened the Iron Gate. And we get attacked by yellow mouses. Inferion is just a damage machine now. What's Sid going to say? Let's save the thankies for later. I'll head for the airship with the princess. You find that engine, toss the sunflower in it. You got it? I'm going to get the airship ready for takeoff, and I don't plan on waiting around long. Wait. What? Well, that sucks. What is she... Well, okay. We didn't talk to her. I thought surely <laughs> we could talk to both of them. I thought talking to her would cue the thing, but oh well. We'll never know what she says. You know that I'm almost tempted to reload just to make sure we didn't miss anything there. This episode's been prolonged long enough. If it was important, I'll figure it out and I'll do a little update, so... Right now, we we need to focus on getting this last bit of treasure and getting the heck out of here. Blowing this place up. You know, I wonder if uh, you didn't come here and let them out. Oh, there was the potions I was thinking of. If you didn't come here and let them out... Uh, do they just magically survive anyway? I mean, I guess they do, because they're both plot essential. So they have that perfect plot armor. You know, at this point, I mean, look at the money. We're This is just a money factory. And uh, one other thing I want to mention, these Berserk Tomes, if you want a lot of money, an obscene amount of money in this game, farm these, because they sell for 5000 each. 5000 each. Yeah. So, you know, this is a perfect place. Like, if you wanted to just get obscene, this is the place to do it in. Especially since you can freely enter and exit. I mean, you know, come on. I, we're already what I would call obscene, because I'm used to playing the Famicom version. But if you wanted to just power level like a mofo, you could do it. Ain't nothing stopping ye, Cletus. Okay.
the background in here, the battle background, kind of reminds me of the Tower of Zot from Final Fantasy IV. We'll get there soon enough. We'll get there soon enough. Um, this game, you know, we're 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 moving through. Uh, again, we, we I'm not wanting to like hurry this up or anything, but um, we're making pretty good progress here. I'm happy with our progress so far with this game, and I don't foresee any significant issues. Let's, let's show you what the Berserk does. Um, now, Final Fantasy 3. That one will take us a little bit. That one will take us a bit. And the final dungeon in it is... Uh, infamously difficult. Not worried about my ability to complete it. I've completed it many times. But there is an unfairness factor there that will come in. And you'll see when we get to it. Um... Final Fantasy 3 has the job system, so in order to get all the achievements, we'll have to do a heck of a lot of grinding in that game, and uh, I probably won't put all the grinding on camera, because, I mean, how exciting is it to watch me sit around grinding levels, you know? Let me come up with some fun banter, so we'll see. We're not going to worry about that right now, because we're still in the thick of uh, FF2. Okay, we go down here. In the thick of it. And what I'm going to do at some point, not this floor, but the next floor we have... Okay, okay. Uh, I want to show you this. Now, if you are wanting to grind in here and power level, like I was talking about, do not release the Princess and Sid. As long as you don't release them or you don't blow up the engine of the Dreadnought, you can come in and out of here at will. But look over here. Notice... I'm going to bring the pointer in. Notice this guy? Yeah. He is now blocking your exit. He is now blocking your exit, so you cannot leave now. So you are committed. Speaking of that, let's pop a quick save, shall we? So yeah, you can grind in here all you want. And leave and, and, and enter as much as you want until you release the princess and Sid. And that kind of alerts them, I guess, that something's not right. So... <clears throat> Once you do that, you're stuck in here until you blow the thing up. So, Ooh. I mean, who doesn't love a bomb blowing up in their face? You know, good old-fashioned family fun. Again, I have lots of MP, so we're just training some magic while we're here. Or we should be betrayed. Beep, 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 boop, boop, bop, 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 I'm going to train uh, Berserk, I guess. I'm not convinced Sleep and Blind are all that useful, so until I know otherwise, I'm probably not going to train them much. Uh, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Getting Fire 6 might not be a bad idea. Although that said, uh, let's go ahead. We were close on warp. Let's see. We'll go ahead and get up to warp two, probably. I didn't expect it to work. I just wanted the experience. And they can blow up in my face. I have zillions of HP. Ha, 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 ha. Warp level that. Agility. Agility. The name of this game is Agility. Her. Not literally, it's Final Fantasy 2, but you know, you catch my drift. Okay. Those poor saps down there in the plumbing chase or whatever the hell it is they're working in. Oh, we don't really need to train warp now. Berserk. Does the fact that you can still issue commands while berserked 
Make it OP? I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. You know, uh, one of my favorite games that I play, uh, like, literally all the time, at least before I started Let's Playing, is Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, and one of the most powerful character combinations you can have on that is a Minotaur Berserker. Now, when you're Berserk, you're limited to what you can do. You can move and you can attack, and that's pretty much it. But you can choose. You can choose. If you move, you'll go out of Berserk pretty quick. Um, so that seems to be a good balance. Okay, let's fight one of these guys. Let's test out the Ancient Sword, shall we? So, let's have you defend. Let's have you defend. Let's have you attack. We'll just demonstrate the defense of this guy and see how it works. Okay, he's still got that almost perfect defense. We're, we're leveling up to the point where we can kind of get in there every now and then. Let's have Firion hit him with the Ancient Sword. See if it gets through. Now we'll just go all out. It got through. Look at that. We cursed him. So again, curse halves attack and halves defense. So that's like mega useful. Okay. And that guy's classed as a boss because look at the way he disintegrates. How about that? Okay. Uh, we got stuff. So you can just go around fighting those. How about it? How about you, sir? Whack-a-doodle. That's your name. You're going to get whack-a-doodled all the same. Oh, you love it. You love to see it. Fall, you fool. Fall. Oh, I love it. The power. <laughs> yes. 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 Flame bow. That's a goodie. If we were using bows, we could use that. See, it's very, very strong. Uh, we might use it at some point. Okay, quit screwing around. And here we go. I Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I doing? This, okay, this is the way to go. See, I got, I got confused there earlier, didn't I? Yeah, you saw it. It was on camera. My stupidity was on full display for the world to see. That's okay. It's fine. If I didn't want my stupidity to be on display, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I can take it. Roast them. How close are we? Not too close, actually. Okay, so we already have the chesticles. Okay. How about a little thunder? Not weak. I don't know if they have an elemental weakness, to be fair. There was the doggy. I don't think they do. Agility. All right, so we got the chests uh, over there. Now we go up. This is the part you haven't seen yet. So let's continue on. Let's attack these. Let's a uh, berserk. Why not? What should you be working on? I feel confident enough now to burn some MP. Hello, Sophie. One of my dogs is here. What are you doing, hon? Yeah. I love you. Okay. I'll tell you. Uh, let's do the old Asuna. I think you get more experience for spells if you use them in battle. <clears throat> Excuse me. And plus, you're more likely to 
<clears throat> oh my goodness. Excuse me. Uh, you're more likely to. What is it? Um... Yeah, gain spirit and magic stats and intellect and all that. Anyhow, uh, after that distraction. <clears throat> okay. I think my allergies are acting up. Excuse me, just a minute. <laughs> okay. I'm back. And uh, just so you see, this this is the interior portion of where we were. So we're we're literally working our way into the bowels of the ship. Now this is a gimmick floor. If you look at your omniscience map here, it looks like a straight shot into the center. It's not. This guy right here is your cue. Uh, we have to find our way around here. Now, I can't remember how to go. So it'll be extra fun. I, you know, I think I've mentioned before I have five dogs. And they're all rescues. Um... There's a Basset Hound who came from a drug house. There is a um, Sophie actually over here. She was a puppy that just showed up here. The Basset Hound found her out in the woods in the wintertime several years ago. And so she lived with us. And uh, the third dog, Pepper, she was... Um, I don't know if she, I don't really know if I should class her as a rescue. She just kind of, she belonged to the neighbor and she would never go home. She would just stay here all the time. So, uh, the guy just eventually gave her to us. Um, and she had a friend who we did not know about at the time. Pepper is a little feist. And her buddy that we did not know about was a great Pyrenees who was a stray. Beautiful full-blood Great Pyrenees male intact and I find it so odd that someone wouldn't be missing a dog like that it's a pretty valuable dog but try as I might I was not able to find the owner so he came to live with us and then a different neighbor had another dog that they weren't feeding and taking care of and so that dog uh, came to live here too. So, that makes five. And, um, recently, that same neighbor has passed away, and, uh, they had another dog, and that dog has shown up here just in the past couple days. So, it's kind of a sad situation. I really don't need six dogs, but, uh, I mean, if, if nobody is going to take him in, I don't really see the option I have, so. I can't just let the dog go without love and attention and food. You know? And he's a cute little guy. He's a little mutt of some kind. He, he's a uh, brindle with white toes, and he looks, he's kind of a fast and kind of a Beagle and, and kind of something else. I'm, I'm not sure. He's good and mixed up, but he's uh, he's full of life. He's real bright-eyed. Pretty little dude. So, anyway, uh, back to the game. What did we get? We got a mage's staff. Let me show you that. A staff crackling with lightning. Cast thunder when used in battle. So, like the first game, uh, you can use items out of the item bag here. Anybody can. So now anybody has access to the thunder spell, which could be useful. Matter of fact, that's so useful. I was going to say I was going to do a quick save. Because that is a random drop, and I think it's fairly uncommon. So, we don't want to lose that, do we? It 
so yeah um back to the dog thing i live out in the boonies and um near the woods they're the neighbors are not close but uh it's uh, <clears throat> you know dogs just kind of wander through out out where i live most people's dogs are you know they're not restrained in any way they just sort of hang out outside and if a dog somewhere is not getting food or attention that they need they will seek it out and since I have <clears throat> several dogs that are always outside and they're always playing and having a good time uh, stray dogs just kind of gravitate here You know, times are tough right now. People, money's hard to come by. And having a dog is fast becoming a luxury. So, you know, sometimes people just can't feed them. And sometimes people are working so darn much that they can't pay attention to them. So, I, you know, I'm fortunate. I'm self-employed and I work from the home outside of YouTube. And, uh... That gives me lots of time to do things like make videos and do my garden and take care of my dogs and things. But uh, a lot of folks, I, I totally understand. I've been there. I've been in some really rough situations before, so I know what it's like. Um, so, you know, I, I can take the dogs in. So if they want to stay here and the people that have them don't want them, I'll take them in. <clears throat> you know, six is getting kind of ridiculous. But anyway, Helldiver. This is a new enemy. Uh, make sure you get this before you leave. I think you can encounter it outside of the Dreadnought. But just in case, might as well get it while it's here. It's pretty much popcorn at this point. How is our money situation? 88,231 gil. And that's with buying like seven ethers and two cottages. Yeah. So anyway. Um. Okay. Just thinking out loud there. So yeah, today is August the 31st. And in RPG news, 8 p.m. Eastern is when the... Um... I drew a blank. When Starfield. Starfield, uh, you can start playing Starfield at 8 p.m. Eastern if you bought the premium edition and you have it preloaded. I think the review embargo for it ends at noon today. So, yeah, that's, that's today's big deal. So if you're watching this in the future and Starfield turned out to be awful, then you can laugh heartily at us. <laughs> but I'm kind of excited about it. I've tried not to get, like, too sucked into the hype, but I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of excited. I'm, I love Fallout, and I love Elder Scrolls. So, kind of excited to see a new RPG franchise from Bethesda. Although, God Howard has, has put the moves on us before, shall we say. Let's top up. That's good. That's good enough. Might as well, yeah, okay. MP should be fine. I mean, it's a little low. We're about half MP on Firion and Maria. Firion is our emergency healer, so shouldn't shouldn't need his. Okay, uh, let's do it. This is obviously the engine room. The engine room. And clicking and clicking away. Here we go. You see the Dreadnought's engine. <laughs> Let's ask it a question. What about the goddess Bell? Uh, what about the dreadnought? How you doing, sir? What about the sunfire, huh? Wild rose bitch. Okay, sorry. Uh, what you do is you throw the sunfire into the engine. You meddling kids, look what you've done. 
You throw the Sunfire into the engine. Pontiac... Excitement. What have you done, the engine? That voice. There's no time, Maria. The ship will blow up any minute. We have to get to Sid's airship. Run, you fools. Oh my gosh, it's so intense. Da 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 da. I hope I got all the treasure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yamana zamana mamana moo mana mamana moo. Bippity boppity boo. Um, you know, yakety sacks would probably hit harder here. But we don't have the fourth wall co breaking comedy that we had in Final Fantasy VI. Boom, bitch! Take that! <laughs> We're regaining our composure here. That was pretty intense. Who is this Dark Knight? Maria seemed to recognize him. Back at Altair. So... Let's do a big people save. Counterattack blew up the dreadnought. Hey, hey, hey. You love to see it. Uh, let's save it. Let's save it. Let's see. Let's save it. Um, here. Okay, so that was an exciting episode, wasn't it? You got to see me stumble around like a damn fool. And that's always fun, right? Entertainment. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching the video. Thanks for hanging out with me, as always, here in the Roost. While you're here, why not like the video? Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate your support because that's what keeps me making crazy stuff like this. Hope you have a great day wherever you are, whenever you are. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.